Hey guys, Chris here. Uh, this video is at Walmart. We went there for uh, just a couple things. We ended up doing an entire video there. Uh, totally unplanned, but uh, I want to show you guys what's going on and um, show you our vegan grocery haul. So without further ado, here we go. Just got a little hand wipe for this. Right over there, hand wipes. We recommend. Uh, looks like most everything is gone here too. Oh wait, I see a couple grapes, so I'm wrong. Not everything's gone. We got some grapes. Oh, and we got soda too. Go SU. I'm with the grocery crew again, Rach and Plants I'm and Josh Vegan. Big Josh Vegan. So we mainly came out tonight because we need to get a plunger because I clogged the toilet. Oh, great. <laughs> we need some bananas. I'm gonna grab... Well, we do need a bunch of bananas because we gotta make smoothies. And who knows the next time we can get back here. Guys, I'm going to tell you some things today that mo a lot of people are just wondering the answers to. Okay, so yeah, that's good for now. Hopefully we can come back, get some more later. Oh, we got some ripe ones over here. Yeah, I'm gonna grab these ones. So Walmart has the bananas. Rachel got some avocado. Okay, so people are really uh, going crazy over the toilet paper and stuff. and. A lot of people are not knowing why this is. And the reason for that is because if you were to be stuck home and traffic and transportation is ceased and there's like a, a mandated ban not to leave your house, quarantine, you're gonna need certain things. You're gonna need food and everything like that. Um, and people are just worried that they're gonna run out of toilet paper for that amount of time. They don't wanna do that. I don't blame them. I didn't go out and buy a bunch of toilet paper, uh, just got the normal amount, but I, I'm more interested in getting the food, but I understand why people are grabbing the toilet paper. Why they're getting like cases and cases like stacked up to the ceiling, I don't know. I don't know unless I got a lot of people to toilet paper. So, but that hopefully should answer some questions there. Looks like Josh got the essentials here. Pretzilla. Yeah, because I ate that one pack <laughs> and the other two are in the freezer. You, there's some in the freezer. Good thinking, Pretzilla. A lot of things very sparse, very empty here. Again, nobody's nobody's going after these. <laughs> Nobody wants any of the vegan stuff here. I wish it was on uh, sale, but uh, the Alpha burritos. Oh, somebody took the chicken pita. Smart, smart people. Let's see, we got some sweet peas and corn. Wow, looks like a lot of people took all the uh, the veggies here too. It's just like a repeat of the, the Wegmans. By the way, if you're wondering, the Wegmans also mandated that tonight they close at midnight as well. That's two nights in a row. Actually, all week, they're closing at midnight. Corn and peas. This should last us for two months. That should be good. Here we go. There's some Kalmata olives. Everybody needs Kalmata olives in the zombie apocalypse. No, Nobody got them. Oh. Are we out of peanut butter too? Because I see one lone. This is a repeat of last night. It's like the same kind too. But I think we're good on peanut butter for like a week. Uh, they got all the nasty peanut butter, the Peter Pan, the Jif. Um, I don't see any of the, oh, there we go. Is it open tonight? No. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. First BJ's. Thing. First thing. I bet everybody else is doing the same thing. Yeah, because we need come out of olives. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at over here. Huh? Like, some of these shelves down here, all gone. All up here, gone. All here, all these are gone. I don't even know what this was. Oh, it was all the rice. So, nobody really cares about it on normal days when they're eating their meat and dairy, but now that everything is happening, everyone wants to buy all the, the vegan food that they say is too expensive, but it's not really. Never seen it like this before. Two nights in a row here. So this is gonna be another video, just like the last video, guys. Again, not trying to cause widespread panic, but this is the reality that we're living in right now. This is what's going on right now, and this is what people are doing. And we got some people wearing masks over there. I don't really wanna put the camera on them, but they're wearing their masks. Here's some rice, $1.66. Is this even the right one, though? Carolina organic white rice. I don't even know if that's the right one. 
Yeah. Should we grab a couple, make some rice dishes? Yeah. All right, we'll grab a couple of these. Organic white rice. Thanks to um, Bitch and Sauce and a couple other companies, we got we got things to, to last us. But what what was the email you said you saw on the way here? The the health association said eight weeks. Who who said that? Uh, people work for the CDC. They oh, said the plan C for eight weeks of quarantine. Okay, you hear that, guys? Plan for eight weeks. We're not crazy. Stop ripping people apart in the comments. These are real times. Don't don't berate people for buying food for their families. Uh, this unfortunately is what's going to happen. Uh, they're going to keep stocking up on this, but by the end of the day, this is what it looks like. Look at that soup's gone. All your money's gone to the bank. Every aisle here is like pretty empty. We do have some sauces up here. Right. Very sparse. Look, chickpea and cow. Nobody's being irrational. Nobody's causing panic or fear. Just showing you the reality of what's going on here. I'm just reporting like a, like a newsman. Unbiased. Yeah, we should get that one. Showing you what's actually happening here on our grocery haul. But the pasta is pretty much, pretty much gone here. Hey, they're doing the same thing over there. They're taking a little video of how it looks. <laughs> uh, oh, we got the angel hair down there that he's getting. Oh, it looks like people left the bonza behind. This is a vegan, vegan pasta, but they didn't want it. They wanted the cheaper kinds. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Everything's gone. Everything's over there is gone. Everything over there is gone. Never seen this happen ever. This, this is how we put money back into the economy. No, we really, I need to grab a thing of flour. So, you know, somebody had a good point. We got to make bread. Josh just had to get garlic sauce. He had to get it. I think we already had somebody. We need more. Um, but what we do need is some dried basil because we're out of that. Okay, here's where all the bacon things. Okay, so we're not gonna get any flour because it's all gone. All the flour is gone. People knew what to get, you know? They came here, they got the essentials. They got what they needed to survive any apocalyptic uh, scenario. Oh wait, oh no, that's cornmeal. Almond flour, I just want some regular cheap flour. Doesn't look like they got any. It looks like it's all gone. Josh, meet us on the other side. Want some cereal? Too bad, it's all gone. Cookie bites. Is that like the generic version of Cookie Crisp? I think so. <laughs> look at this. Uh, you know what You know what I don't see? I don't see any employees stocking the shelves at all. That's, that's weird. The cereal's vegan. Twinkies, what? Twinkie cereal? Like, like Twinkies weren't enough, but they got Twinkie cereal. No, because it's from Post, and all of Post cereal is... No, it's got the vitamin D3 in it, doesn't it? Oh, there's no vitamin D3. I'd still call them just to make sure, but I think all of Post that does have vitamin D3 is not vegan. There's, there's, there's the thumbnail right there. There's no D3 in it, so it's got it. It could be. It very well could be. But we'll never know unless you just grab it. We'll be frozen forever. <laughs> Even in a time like this, I'm still trying not to buy things that are too expensive. Let's go to the next aisle. Cracker aisle. They got the everybody unsalted, the but everybody took the salted ones. I mean, there's definitely food here, so if somebody came here, they'll definitely get food, but most of the stuff is slim pickings. Uh, it looks like nobody wanted any candy. That, you know, good, right? You know, you're going to buy things. You don't want to stock up on candy. You actually want some real food. And it looks like they stayed away from all the cookies and the candy. Same with Wegmans. All the chips, they look like they're uh, they're all still well stocked in the chips. Well stocked over here. They got a couple of containers down here. So other than that, there's no water. Listen to Josh. <laughs> Saran wrap your house. Beer. Somebody at Wegmans got their beer last night. Yeah. That's all they grabbed was the beer. They had a big smile on their face. Let's see what we got over here. A lot of these things are missing. A lot of them are gone. I don't. Orange juices and stuff. That's fine. I wouldn't have got that in the first place. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything. Everything is gone. But where would it even be in the first place? 
I don't see any vegan milk at all, none. All right. There is like two containers of silk. Oh, there is? Yeah. Down, all the way down there? Yeah. Let's go find out. Right there. This is it. This is it. We literally have, have some chocolate. Chocolate and a couple of silk. Oh, we got some almond milk right here too. We have a few of them. We got some almond breeze. It's almost completely gone. And that's it. And that's it for the food guys. I mean, obviously they got the beer and they got a, a bunch of stuff that they have to restock, but this is where the, probably the paper towels and everything are, or were. Cleaning, cleaning stuff. Cleaning supplies, dis disinfectants. People, people are trying to prepare at the last minute. That's why I say be prepared all year long and you don't have to come out here and do this. I'm not worried, I'm prepared. We're in the plunger aisle, guile. Guy, I say guile instead of guys. We will keep you guys updated as this, this whole situation unfolds. We'll keep you guys updated and I did not expect to even do this video tonight, but Oh, look at that. We got some peanuts in the box still. Yeah, I think we have one box of toilet paper, but I don't use, we don't, we don't go through a lot, a lot of toilet paper. Stuff? Yeah, it's one box. Oh, then we're good. Yeah. Like anyway, they have TVs. They got a lot of TVs in stock. No. All right. All kidding aside, we will keep you guys updated on what's going on. This is just a last minute thing going here because normally we would have gone into Wegmans, but they closed. It's well after midnight right now, and I just can't imagine in the middle of the day, this place is probably packed, yeah. jam-packed, people taking everything off the shelves. And I don't know how long this is gonna go on for. Yeah. It seems like a lot of these you know, places are restocking, so don't worry too much. Try not to worry, try not to panic. You know, Some of you commented in the last video, like what happens if we can't get out there, or what happens if we don't have, you know, we didn't get paid to get out there and, and buy whatever we need to buy. There will be food at you know stores, so you'll be all right. I'm just saying this is something that uh, that is not normal. This is a lot of people are going out and buying everything, so the shelves are empty in a lot of places. But if I had to come here in survival mode, there's definitely still food left to get. So nothing to really panic about. It's just can I get the things I want to get, or do I have to get the things that I got to settle for? That kind of thing. So again, nothing to really worry about. So I can clean it inside of my car. Yeah, you want to be able to clean, clean your car in any kind of situation like this. Clean your car. Make sure your car is clean. Uh, yeah, if we got a good water filter, we wouldn't need... We could just use our tap water, which... I did not clean with my Plus, we can make smoothies. We just got a bunch of bananas, we could, right? Yeah, we could just live off of uh, smoothies and apples. I love smoothies. <laughs> Dude, Big Josh vegan toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really do that. <laughs> Corona. Of course, if you go shopping with Rachel for uh, a coronavirus outbreak like this, she's gonna be looking for plants. They're all out. They're all out of plants. Now that's a that's an idea. Get some seeds. Start your own <laughs> garden. Start an indoor garden. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she found plants. We really don't need any plants. I think you got like 150 of them, but a bunch of plants. It's really a lot more. So we got the pretzel going oh, together. These are expired. Oh yeah. These I want... out these shots, they're expired. Yeah, because they go bad really fast. I would put them back if I were you. They will get mold on them really fast. I'm gonna eat them. All right, not really much. Basically this video is just to come here to see how the store looked and just grab a couple things. Uh, as you can see, we didn't go crazy. We didn't load up on everything. And um, we just want to like slowly make sure we have enough in case we do get quarantined. The truth is the truth. Uh, you know, I just want to help people. I want people to not worry, but also have what they need. And you know, anything I can do to help through these videos, or if I can even do anything in person. So, all right, and that is our grocery haul. We got the pasta, the bananas. Uh, this is from last night, actually. That's not part of it, and so are the onions. But everything here. Sauces, one of bars, avocados, some bananas, rice, and that's it. There you have it. I'm gonna try to keep everybody updated as best as I can, and hopefully this will blow over soon. So go ahead and thumbs up the video. Make sure you're following us for all the updates, and uh, stay safe, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys in the next video.